What's up guys, I'm back once again to show you some of the hot mods of the week and in this week's episode we have a couple of brand new weapon mods as well as a new weapon replacer. But to kick things off we have yet another retexture mod from the same mod author that we featured in last week's episode that brought us Boxcar Frames HD and Garage Cabinet HD but now they're back once again to present us with Rock Boulders HD and what this mod is going to do is retexture every rock in the game to look less like a pile of coal and more like actual rocks and in my opinion these textures are actually a lot nicer to look at now this is not the only retexture mod that we're going to be taking a look at in today's episode but this next mod is actually by a different mod author and of course the mod that I'm talking about is Minuteman Flag Retexture now this mod is going to come in two files a clean version and a worn version and out of the two I definitely prefer the worn version it actually looks like it's seen some damage, which it should, when you consider the history of the Minutemen and the entire Commonwealth as a matter of fact. And of course, this week's weapon mod is the Ruger Mini 14, and you can acquire this weapon by heading to the Sanctuary Bunker. Here you'll find it on a shelf, or you can craft it at a chem station under the weapons Mini 14 section, and this is going to require you to have a small amount of crafting materials and gun nut 1. And in terms of upgrades, you have the choice of 14 receivers, 4 barrels, 4 magazines, 12 sights, 4 muzzles including none, 2 frames, 2 stocks, 3 calibers, 4 rounds, 6 damage options to balance the weapon, and finally 3 materials. Now one thing that became very obvious to me very quickly about this weapon is just how easy it is to use. The combination of its high damage and high fire rate combined with very low recoil makes it very easy to hit your enemies. But my favourite thing about this weapon is the versatility of it. You can make this weapon into a high fire rate assault rifle or into a long range sniper. The choice is really up to you. So it's potentially going to take a while for you to get bored of this weapon. But with that being said, let's move on to the next mod. Now if you've played Fallout 4 for any amount of time, then there is a very serious possibility that you are bored of the vanilla weapons. But what if we could swap one of the vanilla weapons for a modded one? Well, this isn't the first time that we've done this on this channel, and I'm pretty sure that it won't be the last either. But in any case, the mod I have for you is Remington 700 Hunting Rifle Replacer. And what this mod is going to do, as the name suggests, is replace all hunting rifles in the game with the Remington 700. This includes for yourself, and for all enemies. Now this weapon is quite a bit stronger than your traditional hunting rifle, so you might notice that the balancing of the game is a bit different. This is not necessarily a deal breaker, but it is something to consider. Now in Fallout 4, you have the ability to wait and sleep, but outside of survival mode, where sleeping is a necessary requirement, the only real reason to do these two things is to set the hour of the day so things are the most visible. But as for the UI itself, there's nothing actually wrong with it, but Fallout 4 has been out for several years now, and I think we can do a bit better. And that is exactly what we're going to do, with the mod Better Sleep and Weight Menu. And what this mod is going to do is completely overhaul the Weight Menu and the Sleep Menu to be something a bit more modern. Now this is already pretty awesome, but the mod author did not stop there. By opening up the MCM, we can take a look at some of the other options added by this mod and this includes time format, date format, the colouring of the HUD, whether or not to show the graph, whether or not to show target buttons, the target hours themselves, whether or not to show the sleeping vault boy and the maximum amount of hours that you can sleep which can finally be set to more than 24 hours and if that wasn't enough using this mod you can actually change the various times of the day to something a bit more preferable. I mean maybe you don't want dawn at 5.30 a.m or sunrise at 7am, or sunset at 7pm, or dusk at 10pm, and with this mod, you don't have to. In fact, until I downloaded this mod, I didn't even know that these were the exact times that those events happened. So, if you're looking for a better way to wait or sleep in your Fallout 4 game, then maybe this mod is worth a download. And the second weapon mod for this week's episode is the M1911, and you can acquire this weapon from any suitable loot source, whether that be NPCs, loot or vendors as it's added straight into the leveled list and in terms of upgrades you have the choice of 15 receivers, 6 barrels, 
stock or no stock, six magazines, seven sights, five muzzles including none, three underbarrel attachments, and finally, five different materials. Now, as pistol mods go, this is definitely one of the better ones. Now, I may be quite biased towards this, as I tend to enjoy using small pistols. There's just something about taking a small, light weapon with lightweight ammo and dealing a huge amount of damage with it, especially with a well-made sneak build. And this pistol fits into that niche perfectly. So, if this sounds like your kind of playstyle, then maybe this mod might be worth a download. But, with that being said, that's going to wrap it up for this mod, and the video for that matter. I hope you all enjoyed the mods here today, and if you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you all in the next video.